Well, we're here today uh, at the Belfast High Court to support Emma and Jake D'Souza in their stand to assert and have affirmed legally uh, their right to identify and crucially uh, be accepted as Irish citizens as uh, defined in the Good Friday Agreement. I think it's important to say that Emma's stand is a stand for all of us who value the Good Friday Agreement, who value our Irishness, who value our citizenship and who will uh, go uh, to these lengths to affirm that and to stand up for our rights to identify and be accepted as Irish. So this, this case and today in particular is crucially uh, important. Uh, I hope the Irish government and the EU27 are watching uh, how the British government have conducted themselves in relation to this case, the duplicitous way that they have uh, approached this element of the Good Friday Agreement and we are all uh, very inspired and support absolutely Amistan because as I say that's a stand for all of us. I must say that Niall has been with them throughout this entire process, highlighting the injustice that has been happening to her and what Emma has gone through and Jake has gone through has exposed the British government once again um, as the government, a co guarantor of the Good Friday Agreement, not holding the Good Friday Agreement in all of its parts. We were told uh, and promised and guaranteed that those of us who are Irish here in the north of Ireland can identify ourselves as Irish. The British government would recognise that and yet they brought forward uh, a Nationality Act which is claiming that we are all Brits. We are not. We are Irish. Irish. The court has already ruled that we are Irish and yet the British government is challenging that. Shame on them. Today we are going in to defend a decision in 2017 where a judge ruled that I am an Irish national only as is my birthright under the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. The British Home Office has taken the erroneous position where all people of Northern Ireland are to be deemed automatically British and as a result they have denied my husband's right to remain with me here in Northern Ireland, claiming that because I'm a British citizen I cannot avail of my EU rights and entitlements. So today they're going to try and have me declared as British, deny my husband's right to stay with me and they're going to make an argument against the Good Friday Agreement and what we're hoping today is that we get clarity for everybody in Northern Ireland.